we want to go from theory to experience. This is a story of somebody who was dealing with a very, what you could call, dark time, and they used sort of this principle uh, of influing and, and uh, of truth to take what was a negative time and, and let it turn into a, a positive time. So here's Bronwyn telling her story. My story is that I, for many years, have not painted, have not had a creative practice. And two years ago, I was diagnosed with thyroid cancer. And this was a very scary time for me, a lot of uncertainty and anxiety. And I had to do surgery, and then I had to do this treatment for cancer, which involved swallowing a radioactive pill to treat any uh, cancer cells in my body and involved one week of isolation. And I am someone who does not like to take a Tylenol, so <laughs> I was very nervous about this treatment. I was nervous about if it would work. I was nervous about the possible side effects. Um, it was just a very disconcerting, fearful time in my life. And this idea came to me, maybe through a friend, maybe through God, I don't know, um, to transform this time, to use this time, this week that I would spend away from anyone, painting. I had previously in my life spent some time painting, but I literally hadn't touched a brush in three years at this time. And I also decided that I would kind of up the game. And so I, I had never painted big before. I'd painted on small canvases or paper. And I bought a large canvas, three feet by four feet. And this, I felt like I was robbing a bank. Like, they know this doesn't belong to me. I'm not someone who knows how to do this. So I bought this large canvas and I aligned this moment of swallowing this radioactive pill with then I began working on this large canvas. And I thought that it would be the first and last time that I ever spent a week painting or painting on a large canvas. But this, this week for me ended up being really transformative and it ended up being filled with great peace and great um, ease and flow. And I spent the time painting and it was like each brush stroke just calming my fears, just being so gentle with myself. Of course I'm nervous, you know, of course. You know, this thyroid cancer oriented me to my the fragileness of my life in a way I hadn't before. So she's using an object, a painting, that reflects and absorbs light in different ways to help her process this, this emotional, spiritual kind of thing that was going on. So let's take a look uh, at the actual painting and a little more of how this helped her through and the principles behind it. Someone asked me recently if painting was a hobby, and I was like, well, is going to church a hobby? <laughs> it's spiritual practice. So for me, it's my Sabbath, it's my restoration. And now I have completed over 90 paintings, large paintings. Since my practice started with opening to compassion for myself when I was going through this cancer treatment, the, pray, the painting and praying, the meditation was so transformative for me. And then when I stepped into continuing to paint, I, people started to ask me about commissions and if I would do them. One person, I was working on a commission for her, I said, how could I hold you in prayer? And she said, for the safety and health of her family. It, hidden in that prayer is, is a fear, you know? It's like, what if something happens? It's other things have happened to other people. What if it happens to my people? There's a fear hidden in that prayer. And what I held was for her was that she would have courage to navigate life however it unfolded. I think in our culture we have, you know, we have a significant problem with addiction and numbing out and a desire to escape our lives. And for me, painting is being present with the darkness. It's being present with the failure. I, I feel like each brushstroke on the canvas is holding space. It's, it's saying, I witness this, this life as it's unfolding and I, and I stay with it. I feel like the promise we have from scripture is not that darkness is removed, but that darkness does not overcome the light. And my creative practice helps me to be present with that, to say, I see it, I feel it, and wrap it in love and gentleness. 
And what I see there is divine light shining through that particular prism of Bronwyn. It comes out in not just these paintings, but in this way to approach life, in this way to help other people uh, with their own things that are going on. So that's one person. What's yours? Let's all work to magnify the light of heaven, clear ourselves up, become the coolest, brightest, shiniest prisms that we can be just in the way we're meant to be. It's a good deal. Let's let that spiritual light flow through. Thank you.